Hey, this is Chase Curtis. I'm in Future Fitness right now with all these big guys in here. Been working out here for about four years. It's really cool to have a dad that owns a gym. My parents have always been supportive in everything I do and all my sports, my ventures. Working out really makes a difference at school and in wrestling, playing sports, football. I mean, you can definitely tell the people that work out and the people that don't. I'd like to welcome everybody today to Lake City, Florida to Future Fitness. We're going to do a little walkthrough and just kind of show you all the changes we've done in the last year. Uh, it's been about a year, like I said, worth of remodeling, and, and this next coming March 2014, I'll be here uh, going on 20 years. So it was time for a, a, a makeover, I guess you could say, and uh, we're going to take you through and show you. I wanted to kind of show our, our uh, wall of fame here for the Gateway Classic. We've got uh, actually nine years worth of Gateway Classic winners up here, and we got one more spot for the 10th anniversary that's coming up on April the 26th. Got a lot, a lot of past champions, a lot of people on here that uh, you can notice some of them have turned pro over the years. We have Joel Thomas was in the very first year, 2005. He uh, looks a whole lot different now when he turned pro this year. I'd like to show you, uh, this is the, when you first walk in, this is our, kind of our pro shop here with our drinks and obviously I, I'm the co-owner of Monster Clothing. We have a little bit of Monster Clothing in here with some of our other uh, pro shop items. This is the, uh, the beginning of the gym. This is kind of our, uh, uh, what I would usually call kind of our laid back area. This is, has our hammer strength, a lot of free weights, a lot of selectorized machines, um, our dumbbells. This is uh, probably where about 90% of the people work out when they come in here. We have a few other areas in the gym that we're going to show you, but this is, like I said, our, our more calm area, if you want to call it that. Again, we're known for having a lot of free weights in the gym. We have uh, thousands and thousands of pounds of weights. We have multiple different uh, benches, squats, all types of squat racks, uh, just a lot, of, a lot of equipment in the gym. We're now entering our cardio area. This is our cardio room. About like any other cardio room, we have our treadmills, our ellipticals, bicycles, uh, so we have a little small ab area. We're now entering our uh, powerlifting area. This is a new addition to the gym. Uh, we added this, like I said, this past year. Uh, this is what I like to call our training facility. This is where all our powerlifting goes on. This room was built in memorial of a friend of mine that passed away a few years ago at a very young age, Bird. And we always hit this on the way in. This is Bird's house right here. Like I said, this is our training facility. This is, we have powerlifting meets in here. We have all state-of-the-art equipment. We have mono lifts, you know, leg presses, power racks. We actually have a, um, a belt squat, which are very rare, very hard to find, a rare machine. Uh, we have uh, probably about 15 or 20, sometimes up to 25 powerlifters that work out in here three days a week, Monday. Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, these guys compete all over the state and uh, actual multiple states. As you can see, all the graffiti we have on the walls, I'm kind of pr proud of all the graffiti. It kind of makes this room a little, little edgy. That's why I said our first room was a little more laid back. This room gets a little more, little more intense in here. We have all types of people that come through here, and over the years there's been a lot of guys that have, uh, have made it up to the pro ranks. One that comes to name that's just turned pro recently this past year is Joel Thomas. Uh, Joel's a, a good friend of mine. Uh, he's been training here since he was probably 14 years old, and now he is a, an IFBB pro. Uh, real, prou real proud of Joel. He's a monster athlete also. We've got, uh, like I said, all types of, i got professional football players, baseball players that come through here. We had a girl from, uh, on the American bobsled team that works out in here. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of really elite athletes have come through here and trained over the years and, and that's been a lot of fun to watch those guys grow and become the pros that they are. All right, we're moving out of the, uh, the powerlifting room through the cardio room into an area of mine that, that I st started building about 15 years ago. It's uh, kind of the dungeon we call it. And I kind of mimic this room off of the gym that I first started working out in myself about almost 30 years ago. Uh, it was real, it looked a lot like this and that was a long, that was a long time ago back before gyms were as nice as they were but we kind of built this room just, just uh, like I said in memory of 
of uh, the gym that we all used to work out years ago. Again, there's a lot of weight in here. We have all types of machines. This is a very, very, very popular room for people to work out in. There's no air conditioning in here. There's no heat back here, but people absolutely love it. It's very hardcore, but it's uh, kind of a dying breed of, of what's, uh, what's coming. There's just not a lot of gyms like this left anymore. Again, we have three, three different dumbbell racks. We have uh, multiple benches, multiple uh, leg presses, multiple hack squats, multiple places to squat. Uh, just, uh, again, uh, lots and lots and lots of weight, which we need it with all these guys around here. Guys and girls. We have, we're gonna move upstairs now to our little small MMA area that we have. It's a place that uh, people can go up and just do a little grappling or, or wrestling or just mix martial arts in general. It's a little small area, but this is, again, a really, really popular area for guys to come up here and just kind of hit the speed bag, you know, hit a uh, heavy bag, or just hit each other. <laughs> it's a small area, but it's, it's, uh, you, you'd be surprised how many guys get up in here and just really, really uh, work hard. I also wanted to mention a good friend of mine that also worked out here years ago. We had talked about a good friend of mine, Bird, passing away years ago here and the memorial for Bird over there. A good friend of mine, Bobby Vincenzi, also worked out here, was here all the time, was a huge influence here to people and was a very, very good bodybuilder. We, also, we have him up on the wall along with everybody else, all these other past champions. Bobby was a great guy. He's, he's missed every day along with Bird also. But back to the pictures, as you can see, the pictures all up and down the wall just kind of just tells the history of bodybuilding from all the way back in the 60s to, uh, to up to current. I really cherish a lot of these pictures. All right, we're getting ready for the uh, 2014 Gateway Classic and Mr. and Miss Lake City coming up. Uh, real soon in about uh, about two months, two, three months from now. And we got one of our athletes here today. It's actually my son, Chase Curtis. Come on up, Chase. Chase is getting ready for the Gateway Classic. Like I said, he's going to do the uh, teen division in the Gateway Classic. And then this year, he's going to shoot for the Mr. Lake City. He uh, This is his second year of competing in the... Uh, in the show. Last year he didn't do the Mr. Lake City, but this year he's going to go for the Mr. Lake City title. So Chase, how long have you been working out, buddy? I've been working out since I was nine, so about five years maybe. He, uh, he really, really works hard in the gym. He, uh, he's also into wrestling. That's his big thing and kind of the gym and the wrestling go together. And So how'd you do this year in wrestling, Chase? Well, I placed first at North Florida. I've been wrestling for four years. I wrestled in fifth grade and I'm in eighth grade. You kind of uh, got a lot of trof uh, extra trophies this year, too, uh, at, at the uh, banquet. You got best wrestler, and what's some of the other trophies you got this year? Most valuable wrestler, best eighth grade wrestler, most outstanding. And uh, I placed first in North Florida, and I was the best lightweight wrestler there. Yeah, you were the best lightweight wrestler at North Florida. This is your second year of, your second year of winning the uh, Nor North Florida champion, is that right? What weight class were you in both years? My first year I was in 85, and then this past year I was in 106. Well, as I said, this is my son. I'm super proud of this kid right here. He works hard in the gym, and, and it shows. He, uh, you know, I wish him good luck this year, and you're going to show us a little bit of what you got up under that shirt? All right, let's see it. Right now? Yeah, right now. Let's see it. There you go. Is that the Mr. Lake City? Is that the Mr. Teen Gateway Classic? Time will tell. Again, we're in Lake City, Florida, uh, getting ready for the uh, April 26, 2014 Gateway Classic in the Mr. Miss Lake City. Mr. and Miss Lake City. We have uh, last year's winner here, and we got potentially this year's winner here. We got last year's winner, Jeff Crawford. Uh, how you feel, Jeff, about last year's win? Uh, I feel pretty good. It was a good contest. There's a lot of good competition. Uh, had a good time. That's good. Look like you filled out a little bit. Uh, how much weight have you put on since that show last year? <laughs> I've put back on uh, about 25 pounds. Yeah, I can see it. Boy, we got them guns going. And we got Mr. Ben Roberts here that uh, the Mr. Lake City has been eluding him the last few years, and he swears this year is going to be his year to take the title. The 10th tenth, the tenth year is going uh, to be his year. What do you think? 
It's going to be my year. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it all this year and leave it all out there. 35 years old, last time I'm going to do it, so I'm going to bring it this year for Tony. Last time. What, what have you been doing uh, different this year to get ready for the show than the other years that's going to uh, bring the win in? I'm going to come in a little drier and a little harder and a little lighter this year, go with genetics, instead of trying to be the biggest one on stage. Ben's always got a great package. He's always had a lot of competition, and it's, and it's, it's uh, been, a, been a nice show over the years, had a lot of really good competitors, so uh, Ben's going to have his, his uh, work cut out for him again, but I think he can pull it off this year, unless, just walking into the film here, uh, Chase Curtis takes him, and you never know, you know? <laughs> he might. Mr. Lake City after me, I'm going to hand it over to him when I'm done. He's going to take it all. This is my man right here. He's going to carry the title for Lake City from here on out. You better bring it this year. So, Ben, this is the year. This is the year. All right. This text takes it from me. Anything else you want to say, bud? No. Uh, I'm just looking forward to getting on stage with him and you this year. That's it. Yeah, they want me up there, but we know how that's going to work. Y'all going to see Tony uh, is getting on stage this year. He is getting on stage. Santa Claus suit? No, I don't care. I made the mistake of uh, running my mouth about a year ago saying I was going to get on stage, and it never happened. My son actually got up there and uh, made me look bad and got up there, and he did it, and I didn't. So uh, i got to be careful what I say from now on. So, Jeff, you think Ben's got a, ch uh, got a chance at it? I think Ben's got a good chance at it. I, I think he'll take it this year. Well, that's good. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're in Lake City, Florida again today, with, uh, getting ready for the Gateway Classic in April the 26th of 2014. And I've got Jason Martin here from Mayo, Florida, that's getting ready for the men's physique. Jason, how's the training going, buddy? Uh, pretty good. You know, I found out about it about uh, two or three months ago, and I decided, hey, I'm going to jump in there and give it a shot my first time. You look like you're, you're looking pretty good. Where are you train? Uh, you said you're from... Uh, from Mayo, correct? Yeah, Mayo. Where are you train at? You said you train over in Perry. Is that correct? Where are you train in Perry? Uh, New Dimensions Health Fitness. New Dimension. That's cool. You got any uh, training partners you want to give a shout out to? Uh, uh, Heath, uh, Roy, and Ben Anderson. That's cool. What? Uh, how's your? Uh, how's the diet going? Looks like you're. Uh, looks like you're already pretty lean. So, uh, what's? Uh, what's your favorite uh, diet? Diet food right now? <laughs> uh, usually, I just. Uh, I'm just pretty big on. Uh, the chicken and fish and stuff. I really don't eat that bad anyway, so. Well, well the next question comes in, what's your favorite cheat meal whenever you get to do that again? Uh, I, I got a soft spot for uh, butter pecan ice cream. Hey, I'm with you on that, brother. How many uh, How many years have you been training? Uh, off and on about, it's been about 10 years, yeah. Have you ever have you ever done a show before? Is this your first show, or have you have you been to a show before? I've never been to a show, never done one before. I mean, I'm just jumping out there. Well, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Uh, the MPC has a lot of really good shows, and the Gateway Classic this year is going to be the, the 10th anniversary on this show. So I, th I think you've picked a good show to start with, and I, I think you're going to have a good time with it. Anything else you want to say, bud? Uh, no, I'm just um, happy to be um, involved with this kind of show. Are you married? Got kids? You want to tell them to uh, get a shout-out to them? They're, they're sticking with you through all this diet and everything? Yeah, my wife, I'm driving her nuts. She's, uh, but she's been there, and uh, my kids, they... Every time I get started talking about it, they're like, oh, daddy, so, you know, I'm just... The other question I always ask is, how's work going? I know a lot of times work can be tough through all this dieting and training, and sometimes your boss doesn't quite understand what's going on. How's it going at work? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, they they kind of understand because, I mean, they'll get, we'll get off work, and I'll change right there at work, and I'm headed to the gym, and they already know that's where I'm going, so they don't even ask me anything. They're just like... Go ahead. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool because a lot of times it's hard to get people on the outside to understand what it is we go through when we do all this. So that's cool to have a boss, a wife, and kids. Everybody's on the same page you are. So well, I look forward to seeing you on stage uh, uh, April the 26th, and uh, good luck to you. You want to show us anything? Give us a little preview of what you got? All right, all right let's see it, buddy. I'm still working, you know, but hey. Hey, that, that's there. That's men's physique right there, buddy. That's a good look. Good, good look right there. Very good. Any last words, bud? Uh, Y'all look for me. I'm going to be here ready to go April the 26th. We're in Lake City, Florida today doing a photo shoot with Colin Land. He's getting ready for the Panhandle Showdown on March the 21st. 21st. Colin, how's the training going, buddy? It's going great. I uh, can't complain. You know, just uh, making big strides since uh, my last show in October. Uh, what, what was that show? That was the uh, NPC Southeastern uh, in Orlando. Yeah, that's, that's a big show, too. That show is promoted by Chris Eady. That's, uh There was probably over 200 people in that show. Is that correct? Yeah, but roughly about 200, yeah. Uh, where do you train at? Uh, I work at Gold, so uh, I do uh, most of my training there along uh, with uh, all my clients. Uh, they're who I train. Well, that's Golds in uh, Tallahassee, Florida, is that correct? Gold's in uh, Pensacola, yeah. 
Cool. I think there's, what, three goals in Tallahassee, so you have a choice of three goals over there. Is that right? Yeah, choice of three, but uh, if you go to Florida State, then your odds are you're going to go to the one that's closest to campus, which is on Pensacola. You were also telling me you were employed there at Goals, so uh, obviously your boss is cool with you, uh, you know, working with the diet, working with you the diet and eating and all that kind of stuff. Is that correct? Hey, just about everyone on staff competes, so he understands. <laughs> well, that's cool. Uh, so you, uh, you'd like to thank your mom and dad, anybody, anybody else supporting you uh, through this whole thing? Yeah, my parents, uh, they was the one who gave me uh, the money to sign up with the NPC, and also they uh, paid for my uh, registration dues for the last show, as well as this one, as well as my diet. So yeah, they've been a huge help with this. That's cool. So, how uh, talking about the diet? What's your uh, what's your favorite uh, diet food? I guess as uh, you say. Hey, anything with chicken and it's good. Chicken and lettuce, vegetables uh, with every meal, along with uh, a lot of protein. I like to start off every uh, day with uh, some oatmeal and a protein shake, and then uh, in between, I like a protein bar and some fruit, and then uh, anything uh, with a balance of uh, carbohydrates, protein, and vegetables. Uh, and then uh, I'd like to finish off the day with uh, chicken, which I bake every two weeks just uh, so I don't have to worry about cooking it every night, along with uh, maybe about a cup, a cup and a half of lettuce. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That, having that meal prep done in advance sure helps out a lot. So it's, you got the food ready to go when, you're, when it's time to eat it. So when all this is over with, what, uh, what are you going to indulge in? Oh, I need, uh, I'm just going to drink a lot of water. A lot of water. No, I mean, when this is over with, what are you going to eat bad? <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite cheat food that you're going to uh, tear into when this is all over with? I love sugar cookies. <laughs> I hadn't heard that one before, but that sounds good to me. So uh, it looks like the training's going real good. You want to you give us a little preview of what, uh, what's to come? Right. Why not? <laughs> Let's see it. All right, Colin, so uh, I've, I've judged that show before in the past, just about every year, and I know that's a big show with a lot of competition from all over the place. So uh, I look forward to seeing you up there, and uh, good luck to you. You got anything you want to say? Yeah, going to kill it. That's all I'm going to say. That's perfect. Thank you very much.